especially when you fly fishing uh, or fly fishing. It's a very accurate set of flight. You know, very critical. One of the biggest mistakes I see folks will get on my boat and they want to bring one a rod or two and I'll say, well, just bring one and let me see what you have. And nine times out of ten, you know, we'll go for a sight fishing redfish or trout strip. Folks are a little bit inexperienced out of time. They'll show up with something like this, you know, which is obviously way overkill. Dead sauce plastic. I don't get too carried away with the lure colors. I keep it pretty simple. One thing I'll, I always say is a small brown color lure. Uh, they call them golden brown, root beer, motor oil. Uh, if it's green, kind of has a green look to it like this water out here, then I'll incorporate that into my bait selection. I'll have green, soft plastic. And in that you can have red glitter, watermelon seed, you know, different colors. But I just kind of match the bait to the color of the water. If it's super, super clear water, I'm going to throw a lighter color bait like that glow shrimp. Uh, whites, clears, with glitter in it, very effective. So keep it simple. I fish guys often that are constantly retying, especially if they're not catching. They're going to retie, retie, try something else. It's more important where you throw it than what you throw it.